What really makes these beaches throughout California so developmental to great beach volleyball players is the history and the culture. Our sport is exciting, it's very dynamic. We have dynamic characters, there's a dynamic past. And the sky's the limit for us because of how they started it, which was with passion, intensity, and greatness. For much of its history, beach volleyball was a local affair that drew thousands to the beaches of Southern California. Out of all the events, the granddaddy of them all was and still is the Manhattan Beach Open. To be able to play in a Manhattan Open is the pinnacle, but to win a Manhattan Open is beyond belief. Playing in the Manhattan Beach Open is special. It is the Wimbledon of beach volleyball. There's so much history. You win a tournament here in Manhattan Beach, you get your name on the pier, and that's there forever. When you think about how did beach volleyball even get to the Olympics, a lot of us believe it was the Manhattan Open because the then president of the International Volleyball Federation, he came and watched the Manhattan Open. He saw the people lining the pier and the boardwalk and all around the court. Got it! And that, that was really the spark that got the international people thinking, wow, this could be a real sport. The United States of America. Beach volleyball made its Olympic debut at the 1996 Atlanta Games, where the American men's team was comprised exclusively of Southern Californians. We were claiming we were the kings of beach volleyball. You know, we were saying, we started it, it's our sport, and, and there was a lot of pressure to prove it. We come to sold out Atlanta Beach, getting ready for the All-American gold medal final. We had our great friends, Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, across the net, and we just didn't even want to have a loser. We were showing the world that, at that time, we had the best beach volleyball players in the world. That is it! The Americans sweep the top two spots in beach volleyball. Twenty years later, spread throughout Southern California, those Olympic trailblazers formed the core of modern-day influencers and ambassadors for the sport. Nice work, offense. Atlanta gold medalist Karch Karai, who also won two indoor volleyball gold medals, is the head coach of the U.S. women's indoor team. In 2014, they won their first world championship title. Silver medalist Mike Dodd has coached teams to the last two Olympic Games. Oh my goodness! Don't now Dodd, in. along with his wife Patty, coaches 10 to 15 year old girls on Manhattan Beach. I like the way you guys are switching, that's really cool. For me, coaching is just a natural extension of my life in volleyball. So many great players are now coaching, giving back to the game. And just down the beach, three-time Olympian Holly McPeak has teamed up with three other oh. Olympians to coach emerging young women in high school and beyond. What better experience than to learn from good. for beach volleyball Olympians? So we have a really good time doing it. We feel like we're giving back as well. Two each, pass, normal set. Again, ball. Training with Holly is a blessing. Obviously, she was an amazing player and she's an amazing coach. She pushes you to be better, but in a way that like makes you want to do it for yourself. And you always feel like you get a lot better after every single like training session. Up and down, use your legs. Good, nice spot. As beach volleyball's Olympic popularity has thrived, there are signs that the sport is growing at all levels. So many more girls are getting the opportunity to play. The sport is growing so much and it's just great to see and we're just so happy to be a part of it. California natives Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes are the top-ranked team at the University of Southern California. And in their historic 2016 season, they finished with a perfect 48-0 record and led the Trojans to victory in the first ever NCAA Women's Beach Volleyball Championship. The experience was amazing. It's honestly a dream come true for us collegiate players. Every aspect of it was perfect, and Coming home with the win was even better. Woo! Our dream is to go to the Olympics and to place gold in the Olympics. So it's like, 
If we see Carrie and April, they're doing it, well, we want to be the best in the world just like them. Beach volleyball is cruising and growing, and I knew the generations before me, and I'm now seeing the generations that are upcoming. Um, and I love that bridge. We all cheer the young guys on. We want the young guns to take the world down and show them who's best. And uh, we've been really proud of having many of the best who've ever played the game be right here from Southern California.